What we're talking about is how all of this spiritual internal knowledge that we have can can and must, we must begin the transition and stepping into it completely and fully by taking everything that we learn spiritually and going with any organization or group that is actually doing work to facilitate change on the planet. If we do not do this at this time, then we as a collective will not have a future of our Earth. And yes, there are many, many, many things that we can talk about and say that there's policies in place that we can't get around and that we have to change, um, that we have to change uh, many different things on our Earth and we need to act on getting the policies put in place. How does that create a garden in your backyard? If every individual made that decision to create a garden in, the, in your backyard, it automatically starts the spiral effect. So, um, as someone in the chat just wrote, it's an action, not reaction. So this is where we collectively are moving towards. This also ties in with the prophecies. It ties in with the prophecies saying that we, for the Hopi, saying that we have a choice of what path we're going to follow. So many people around the planet are waiting to go and take further steps. We've done hard work, and I congratulate all of you, including myself. I congratulate myself as well. I'm with you. I'm learning too. To say, okay, we have gone spiritually to learn who we are. And now that we're on that process and we're doing a great job of doing that, now let's take that and continue with who we are and create, as we go along, the actual world we want to live in. Many people building, many people building um, in a more natural way, eco-villages, um, natural, uh, you know, different homes, way of building houses, smaller houses, uh, choosing to use different vehicles other than big, huge, gas-guzzling, massive cars and machines. There's a lot of different ways to change. The prophecies state that we have the opportunity to create a utopian world or to go into the destruction we are still walking through that time. Here's a question. People around me have noticed that I'm able to create my reality and circumstances. They are always asking that I help them with theirs, but how do I do this? Well, this is a fantastic question. My goodness, I couldn't have asked for a more perfect question. Uh, you and I sound like we are very much in alignment with our, our our personal experiences because of course even for me um, uh, I'd like to give a little bit of a story on this first of all recently I was in Los Angeles at a conference with Big Bai and Nejnima of the Dogon and he had expressed to me that he very much wanted me to fly from Los Angeles to Chicago to meet many of the people um, that are that are uh, working with him in Chicago at the Earth Center School that they have there. And I didn't have the money uh, to fly. So what I asked was, um, what I asked from him was to, you know, think about this. I said, well, I don't have any money to fly there. And I put my arms up and I said, I ask Creator in this moment from all levels of light, all levels of life, to move through any person or thing in order to facilitate this for me now, if this is what is in the highest interest of myself and of Creator. And then I looked back at him and I said, okay, that's it. If Creator wants, and this is in my highest interest, it will happen. And so, one of the ways that we can create things in our lives is to believe. And yes, even for me, I go through days where I don't believe anything. 
is possible and I get very, very, very frustrated and I have a very difficult time. But the way to do this and create things for your life is to open yourself up to it. It's really almost that simple. Miracles happen around me all the time, and, and the people in my life see and observe the same thing that they do in yours, the person who's asked this question. How is it that we can get others to create this? Well, we have a power center. We have, we have that energy within our hearts, within our heart area, that is what and who we are, and it connects in with our brain, our spirit, and our soul. Body, body, mind, spirit, and soul. And those things all connect to each other. If we open ourselves up through all of those things and we ask not from a, sp not from a space of selfishness or self, but for the highest good of creator, of the universe, of the light, and ask not a specific thing, but to say, allow for um, the highest good of all to come to me now. You have the ability to have Creator build it for you. If you ask someone for if you ask someone for a ride, for example, say you don't have a car and you need to go to the next town, and you say to someone, I want to um, ask you to drive me to the next town. C can you do that? And they say yes. I say okay, but I want you to drive in a small car that is red and it has only two seats in it and um, the interior has green um, and so on and so forth. And you put all these restrictions. How's the person going to get the car for you to, to, to take you to the next town over? They're not going to. So you have to leave it very open so that it can be created for you. I need a ride to the next town. I'm asking you to, to, you to um, facilitate that and create that for me. Can you? And the friend says, yes, I can do that. There is no difference between asking for that and asking for the creator for something. You just cannot put restrictions. You ask for it in a very open way and you ask for it in the highest good of what the Creator sees, and it will come to you. So does that answer any more, uh, a little bit more question um, as far as how to do that? I also have another, uh, I also have a little small YouTube clip called Universal, um, Universal Meditation that's on my website on bluestarprophecy.com that if you go to listen to that it will also give you more insight into how to create something and to leave it to the universe to creator in order to facilitate that as well. Does anyone have any more questions? And I'm just gonna look here um, Right now, with the Great Gathering, we are looking for assistance in, um, in, in many different ways that are, are really a little bit more difficult. As we, after we launch the site and things start to get moving, then we're going to be able to ask for more volunteers to come forward to get the message out of the Great Gathering, to ask them to participate in different forum discussions uh, to post their meditations on the website so we can have more global meditations in a more unified way as much as possible. Uh, anyone that has a following will be able to come to the website for thegreatgathering.org and put their meditations onto the site and to also bring us great information about what projects they're working on to bring about this new way of collectively supporting each other in order to create this change. So, uh, Kadar, do we have any more questions from the chat room in respect to what we're talking about today, which is how we're creating a new and more balanced future? We all have off days that we are very, very much 
going through the transition and spiritually going through the transition. Remember to always look within. I think this is one of the most important messages that we have that we can walk with and that we can remember within ourselves is to look within yourself for the answers, for the absolute truth. Because no one other than those individuals can do that for you. Um, the financial system going into the future is going to start to take some very big changes. I think that within six months we're probably going to start to see um, we all know that the financial system around the world is breaking down. How it's breaking down, to what extent, is going to happen. I do not see, in, in my perspective, um, I do not see at all a complete wipeout of the financial system yet. Um, that is not something that I'm visually, uh, spiritually picking up on right now, because if the entire financial system were to break down right now, that is when we would have absolute world chaos. The idea that it's going to completely stop is not going to be an option for the governments around the world. What will happen, though, is that the way that we do business is going to start to change, in a more drastic form. And I believe that they're going to be trying to put in new policies um, that are going to force us to change in how we do business. And this is why it's exceptionally important for you as an individual to recognize that what you do with your money and where you put those finances, that, that is one of the most important questions to ask yourself also. If you go to big box industry places to, to shop, start going to your local stores again and supporting the people. If you are looking at wanting to put money towards an organization that you believe in, put it towards an organization that you can see what they're doing, that is giving you feedback of what they're, they're implementing, and that you see actual change taking place. And these are the organizations that we need to start supporting. Simply giving food to someone um, is not resolving an issue. Give your support to those organizations that are resolving issues, not just giving charity. Giving charity is necessary, and it has been up to this point, but it's time to start finding the solutions and put your finances towards that. We need your help. Every organization that is working on the solution needs your help now instead of the charity-based organizations. So take a, take a few minutes to think about that. We're going to come back in about a month's time to have another conversation on where we are and what you can be doing spiritually, physically, and um, financially, emotionally in where we are on the planet today. So I'm going to wrap this up for today by saying thank you all very, very much for being here and for showing your support to the people in your life that are also going through this great change. Remember that a pole shift is happening within you and that we are in this as a collective. Honor, respect, and support the people in your life as we walk through this collectively. Honor, respect, and support the organizations that you believe in. And also, and first and foremost, honor and respect and support your process in recognizing that we are all walking through this together, as one and individually. So until next month, I am saying thank you very much. Send a blessing out to all of you. And I really am honored to be a part of this process with you. Thank you.